Hi everyone, Karen here from tuppenscolor.co.uk. Uh, today's project is a little thank you card uh, that's using a watercolour resist technique. So if you want to find out how that works, stick with me and I'll show you how I did it. This is a piece of uh, watercolour paper which I've cut to three inches by mm, three and a half, four inches. Um, Okay, uh, three, two, one. This is a piece of watercolour card and it's three inches by three and a half inches and I've stamped onto the front of it, can you see, just about, uh, with Versamark and I've uh, embossed it in white embossing powder and the stamp is this one which is taken from uh, Serene Silhouette. Now you can't see it very much at the moment but I'm hoping that we're going to be able to change that so first of all I'm going to go and I'm going to wet my watercolour card. This is just an ordinary just ordinary water with a, just a couple of drops literally just a couple of drops of uh, washing up liquid uh, in just to make the water just to break the surface tension a bit make the water a little bit better a little bit wetter and now i've got some um, ink refills reinkers which i've uh, mixed with a few drops of water in into spray bottles uh, that's where's the one i want i'm going to start off with the palest one which is a pink pirouette and actually one more thing i'm going to do before I start, forgot to do it. If your paper curls up like that, if you spray it on the back as well, it gets all polite and it lies down again. Um, and you can see why you need to use the watercolour card rather than any, just any old paper because it needs to be able to stand being being sprayed. Okay, so I'm starting with the with the pink pirouette. And you should be able to see the, um, the colour coming out. This is crushed curry, which is going on next. And there's not a great deal of science to it. I'm just blobbing it on wherever. Um, this is, I think that's nice and navy. No, nope, this is tempting turquoise, I think. Plant just around the edges. Okay, that's a bit strong. Okay, so I'm going to let that. I'm going to soak up some. Actually, I'm going to soak up some of that because that's a little bit stronger than I wanted it to be. So that's the great thing about water is that while it's wet watercolour while it's wet you can go in there and you can make some adjustments right now I'm going to go and let that dry and uh, we'll come back to that in a little while so I'll see you soon okay we're back and this has had a good long length of time to dry it's actually had about a week uh, and before I put it on one side to dry I thought it just needed a little bit more pinkiness so I put in a spray of uh, rose red just and you can see just those little rose red spots here and there so now it's time to mount it up and to make it into a card uh, so I've got a piece of Blackberry Bliss cardstock, which measures four and three quarters by four and three quarters. And as you can see, it's just a little bit too big for the uh, for the watercolour uh, card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this now into three strips so that it will take up more space. So bring in my bring in my cutter. 
the light grey blade is for, uh, for for scoring. So I want to put, make sure that one's out of the way. Now I've measured this side of the card. There's a one inch mark here. Okay, um, which makes it a lot easier to cut narrow pieces. So I cut there. I'll take that piece to one side, and then I move that across. And I cut that in one inch pieces as well. Okay. So here I am. Now this piece is a bit wider, so I'm going to put that to that side and that side and that side and I'm just going to kind of me mess about a bit with the composition till I get it the way I want it and I think that's about it Ready to go in three, two, one. I've gone ahead and I've put some of our new tear and tape on the back of the uh, on back of my three pieces of card. Uh, it's the first time that I've used tear and tape, so this is, you know, crafting without safety net. Uh, so let's try it. Okay, I've spread out my three segments pretty much how I'd like them to to be on the finished card stick down you that's a great start <laughs> okay it does come off without a pokey tool look at that all right so I'm going to put my ruler along the bottom there pretty much where I want my is that how I want it yeah and I'm going to bring in my card which I'm going to turn my ruler over because that's the that's the bevel side that's the cutting side so it's easier to do if I bring it in here there we go how's that look pretty good pretty darn good it's a bit deeper at the bottom but that's fine that's okay that's how we want it so the next piece where's my last piece gonna go yeah. okay so I'm gonna do the first the left side and the right side first and second because it's gonna be easier to adjust where the middle piece goes so let's bring that in that's aligned now if you're better at doing straight than I am you might be able to get away with lining up just by eye um, believe me that's a challenge for me so that's why I'm using a straight edge along the bottom to try and make sure that my pieces are more or less straight and even with a ruler even with a ruler, look at that. Takes skill, that does. Okay. But there. You know. There we are. Okay. So let's... Oops, sorry about the bumping. And there's my little thank you card, all finished. Uh, and thank you for joining me. If you'd like to know more about the products that I've used, they're all by stamping up and you can find out more by visiting my blog or my website. The addresses are underneath this video here. I uh, hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.